if you can give a word about the whole thing we you and I are talking about as far as um, animations, video, if you can give a give yeah. a little bit of thoughts on that. Yeah, well, yeah. So, so one of the things that that you know, and I and I sometimes I mean, it's just uh, you try something. I'm gonna said about being an innovator, I mean, and and so I tried something in. 2004 in Hawaii, a bad place to have to try something out. And, uh, and that was just to really start to use, um, because when you, when I'm trying to teach immunology, I was trying to teach something that is very fluid, literally. And, 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 and you look, you're looking at things where, where cells are doing things and interacting and, and using and, and trying to teach that with static models. To me, it was, it just, it, it just, it just never came across. People got bored with it very quickly because it just, it didn't make any sense. And, and, and so being able to take things and, and especially that are complex and then being able to break them into their, their component pieces, but then being able to sort of reassemble it, okay, by showing the motion, showing how things interact together, I found has, that's been a really key concept for me over the years to, that I think has helped me, you know, make myself successful in terms of getting those ideas across. So not, not maybe I'm the greatest teacher in the world, but it's just like, mm -hmm. how do you take that concept yeah. from something abstract or something where you put three PowerPoint slides up and then now make it move. And when you make it move, then all of a sudden they get it. And I, I can tell you, I, I mean, I've, there's some animations I've shown them I'm, and I've had people come from a long ways away when they say that I'm going to speak because they say, every time I see that, you know, you say something else with that and I get something else out of that. And the only, and, and that's again, to me about using motion in animations is that you can put things together. And I think most of us are visual learners and some of us are, you know, maybe we're Einstein's and we can see this abstract thing in the back of our head, but I think most people are visual learners. And so being able to get it, in front of them and reinforce it. So, I mean, you see, lay out, here's the concepts and then put those concepts into motion and put it together. And, uh, and I typically, I'll put together infinite rule of three, of, you know, in terms of speaking, you know, tell them what you're going to say, tell them what it is and then review it, yeah, what it does, um, yeah. is, a, is a key thing. And, and I think, you know, just reinforcing that. And, and you know, and, you know, and I'm, I'm just fortunate that, you know, I'm around other people that, that kind of, that, that think that way in different ways about how we can, teach in terms of, of being more visual, so. Yeah.